Comment in the Sky with a brand new product. Whoa, watch out. It's coming to you live. Right here, the unboxing of the LED corn bulb. Let me get that on there. It can be input voltage from 100 to 277. If you're running a 483 phase, you can pull a leg off of that and run this bulb just fine. Power consumption is only 54 watts with a color temperature of 5000 K, which means it's pretty dang bright. It means it's like white, white light. It's not a warm white. So here's a box, and this is a LED lamp that replaces the 250 watt bulb. One moment, let's go over here and I'll show you what it's going to replace. We put it we put it in this in the bulb that that was the lamp was replaced okay so you have a 250 watt compressed mercury bulb as you can see that's a pretty freaking big bulb itself big e39 base on it um, so inside there's a like an arc tube or whatever it arcs over and this uses 250 watts of power sometimes it peaks at almost 300 while running because the igniter doesn't disengage on these so it costs a lot of uh, of energy so 250 watts 54 watts this is replacing this this is equivalent to a 250 watt bulb they say and it is I have turned this baby on and it is freaking bright and I might do a video of that here's the baby right here look at that holy crap look at that let's do a side-by-side -side comparison here so you have your 250 watt 54 watt that's equivalent to this bulb inside of here I imagine there's driver circuits and all that this is called a corn row bulb because it has corn style LEDs going all the way across it it also has LEDs on the top this just right here is 27 watts this is equivalent to over 60 watts just on the top here this thing is bright I'm going to try to shoot a video of me firing it up and we're going to see what it's going to do so we'll be right back we're back now. I've hooked in a cord, just lamp cords, 54 watts, not going to like blow up or anything or melt the cord. Um, again, cornrow LEDs. We have, um, you know, stuff like this. But let's see how bright this baby is. Let's plug her in. Holy crap. Um, as I suspected, this is going to be so bright that you wouldn't be able to see it on video this thing looks like a nuclear reactor I can get really close and uh, the video doesn't do justice so let's turn off the lights see what we got going on here all right lights are off in our shop as you can see it's pretty freaking lit up and bright this thing is freaking crazy bright. This, I mean, I have no problem in filming this just like I had a light on in the shop. This thing is bright. For an LED, that that is bright. You can't even see it. You can't look at it unless you look at it through this camera. And this camera can get really close up and see the lights lit up. Um, we have front desk communicating right now. I apologize about that, but as you can see, um, the lights are out in the shop, all of them. And this thing is just so freaking bright. It just lights up the whole place. So again, $86 bulb. The ballast, the ballast for this bulb costs $250. The bulb costs thirty dollars, so two hundred fifty thirty. You're looking at almost three hundred dollars to get some light out there. You're looking at eighty six dollars. 
for this bulb right here. And you know what? I'm touching it because it's not even hot. If I touch this right now, my hand would stick to it and melt to it. This, nothing. Warm. Just slightly warm. Actually, the radiation coming off of it, I guess you would call it, is warm. But once you put your actual hand on it, it's cold as hell. It's cold to the touch. $86, $300. You pick. What do you want to do? These, all you have to do is take the ballast out of these. Bypass the ballast. You can leave the ballast in the fixture if you want to. Plug these up. 208, 277 volts. 120 volts, anything in between that range, these will handle it, and that's that's a over 60 watt equivalent just on the top of that thing. Um, this is a 360 bulb corn row bulb, but they do actually sell the 180s and stuff like that. But as Jeff the maintenance guy is saying, lighten up your work. Duh. Everybody, happy YouTubing and. Have a great day.